Okay, so today we're talking about Warren Cliff knives. We're gonna talk about seven different Warren Cliff knives because Warren Cliff knives happen to be the most utilitarian blade shape you can get for everyday carry purposes. Not only are they extremely utilitarian, but they're also just extremely useful blade shapes for EDC. Now, the reason why is because when you're applying pressure on the handle, all the pressure goes towards the tip. So one, it can help you stop from sacrificing the rest of your edge through cuts. You know, like if it was a big belly, you'd have to use a lot more edge to make a cut than just the tip. Well, with these, you can use just the tip so you don't sacrifice the rest of your edge. And it allows you to get a lot of leverage down into the tip for incredible utility cuts. You can get a lot of pressure onto the tip. The next thing is, because it usually has a straight edge, it helps trap materials for longer cuts. So if you're making push cuts or just slicing, it helps you make longer cuts because it, it stops the material from sliding around the blade. And then the same thing goes for reverse grips. If you need to cut straps and ropes and you need to pull the blade towards you, it will trap the materials. Unlike say something with a big belly where the rope might slide up and around the blade with a worn clip, it helps trap it. So extremely useful blade shape. Now, before we go into this list, let's talk about what a worn cliff is. So a worn cliff starts from the top of the spine and it slowly tapers down to the tip. The spine of it will look kind of like a half a moon or a quarter moon. Then it goes down to a straight edge. Now, sometimes worn cliffs will have slight bit of belly, but for the most part, they're gonna be almost perfectly straight, if not perfectly straight at the edge. Now we will bring up some sheep foot blades here in a second and kind of compare them because they do work very similarly. But as far as the Warren Cliff going, you know, having a tapering spine down to the tip, that doesn't mean that there isn't some variations if you have a harpoon on the Warren Cliff and then it'd be a harpoon Warren Cliff, kind of like the one we're looking at right now. This is the concept egress and the concept egress has an s35 vn harpoon worn cliff blade shape which is extremely extremely useful now the handle is in carbon fiber but it does come in many different materials so if you want a micarta one g10 one it has a lot of different options then it has a titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer it has a hidden lanyard pin back there now the titanium milled pocket clip works great in not a pocket great access to the lock bar and it is very very smooth with reverse flicking action or thumb flicking it's very snappy great detent and then it also has a top flipper that you can use as a secondary deployment option now the harpoon on this worn cliff will give you a point of contact to kind of bear down a little bit more, whether it's with your pointer finger or with your thumb. And it just kind of helps you apply pressure a little bit closer to the tip, but it's not necessarily needed for a Warren Cliff because all the pressure goes towards the tip anyways. Let's check out the next one. This is the Precision Knife Works Warren Tech with a beautiful example of a Warren Cliff blade shape. It has a nice deep hollow ground 20 CV blade. It is OEM'd by QSP and they did an incredible job with the micro milling on the titanium handle. I did do a full review of this when it was in prototype phase and the production version is incredible. It's knocked out of the park. The cutout for the lock bars on the inside so the clip is going to slide in and out of the pocket very nicely. Great access to the lock bar. Super smooth on the drop. Not fall shut action or anything but it's a very light blade but it is nice and smooth. The hole deployment this is a very snappy, well-tuned detent. If you like reverse flicking, th this is an incredible reverse flicking knife, something that's very satisfying, and you can still thumb flick it. Now, the beautiful thing about this is how well the ergonomics and blade work together. They complement each other great. Whether you're doing reverse grip cuts, so you're cutting straps and ropes, whether you're doing utility cuts, this m somewhat of a tapering spine really fits in your hand nicely, and then it it is extremely comfortable for regular slicing. This is a very, very, very useful EDC knife. And it actually is on sale right now, or there's a deal for it on Precision Knife Works. If you do get it within 24 hours of me posting this video, you can get it for even less money at 225. So if you can't, if you don't wind up getting it within the next 24 hours, it'll be $250, but that will only last two weeks. So 24 hours for 225, two weeks for $250, and then it goes back to its original price. 
Now let's talk really quick since this is a perfect example of a Warren Cliff blade shape. Let's compare it to a sheep's foot. Now, the company does call this a Warncliffe, you know, and it just kind of proves to you that they work very similarly because they call this a Warncliffe, even though, according to the spine, it would be more leaning towards a sheep's foot blade shape because the blade shape is more like this on a sheep's foot where it has a couple different angles. Now, this one has two straight edges because it is a dual grind, but like I said, it's going to work extremely similar to a Warncliffe blade shape. This one is the Hogue Deca in Magna Cut Steel. I do have aftermarket scales on mine. It originally came with FRN, and in my opinion, a must have. If you have the Hogue Deca, get some original goat scales. Whether they're aluminum or the titanium scales, it keeps the knife extremely, extremely lightweight, except for it increases its strength like tenfold. It feels so much more solid and it feels like a completely different knife when you get the scales on. I absolutely would buy this again and again. So the, the Hogue Deca is an amazing EDC knife that works very similar to any other Warncliffe, except for it does have a sheep's foot, even though they call it a Warncliffe. <laughs> Next is another great example of a Warncliffe blade shape, the Concept Convict. Now, I absolutely love the Convict because it's so ergonomic, extremely comfortable in the hand, no matter what direction you are holding it in. And since it has the perfect Warncliffe blade, it's very, very useful. Perfect sharpening tool and plunge grind, great access to the lock bar, and the clip is the type of clip that you do not feel in the hand except for it works really really good in and out of the pocket it's not going to chew up your pockets and it has very snappy action very smooth on the drop and there's multiple different versions whether you want the the more affordable option in 154 cm and g10 it also comes in other handle materials or you can go a little bit more premium for the 20 cv version in the carbon or carbon fiber copper scales copper carbon fiber scales copper carbon fiber scales <laughs> then they have all the way up to a premium option which is the s35 vn and titanium frame lock version i'm thinking about swapping the blades with one of these because i want the whole deployment on my titanium frame lock version even though the thumb studs are some of the best thumb stud action is on this it is so good but the knife overall is just a fantastic edc knife and it's a great example of why a warncliffe is awesome now the next one's a little bit sleeker this is the Civivi Clavi, and it is another great example of a Warncliffe, except for this is very, very slim, very, very thin. It is not only going to be extremely useful because of those reasons, but it is almost non-existent. <laughs> you can lose this for sure in your pocket. You won't even know you're carrying a knife. But once you get it out, you have a nice long Warncliffe blade in 14C28, or sorry, in Nitro V steel. So it's got a very long blade in Nitro V steel, and the handle is so slim and so easy to carry it's almost like holding a thick pen in your hand so you have so much leverage into this tip you know it's just so wieldable you can basically use it in any direction nice and comfortably it's going to be something you can kind of do the finer details with and it's oh, you know i hate to say it but it's kind of like a glorified letter opener except for it actually has an edge and is very sharp and very very useful but you know the shape of it is kind of like a letter opener again a a uh, pocket clip that's very comfortable in the hand except and it works very very well good access to the lock bar and it has a front flipping action that in my opinion the reach over is the best way to do it but it's very snappy with the thumb flick so it is a very light blade so it's not going to be the most fall shutty but you know you can't really expect that with this light of a blade Next is a knife that kind of reminds me of how, what this knife's intention is, except for a little bit more heavy duty. Now, this one is a sheep's foot blade shape, but it's kind of a happy medium blend between a sheep's foot and a Warncliffe. So this is the new Concept Arcus, the new Concept Arcus. And it kind of reminds me of this knife just in a more overbuilt kind of way, something that's going to be a little bit tougher. Like I said, this isn't a perfect Warncliffe, but it's going to function exactly the same way. Very, very slicey, very wieldable. Again, kind of like we were talking about with the Clavi, it's something that you can wield in any direction and you know, kind of just manipulate in your hand very easily. It has a titanium frame lock with 
overlays. This one is the carbon fiber version, but it does come in different options. Titanium mill pocket clip that works great, by the way. And then this one is the Damascus, but it does come in other blade steels like S35VN. Very snappy action on the reverse flick, and it works great. It is a fantastic fuller, so it really catches you when you reverse flick, and it's pretty satisfying. Then the flipper tab is also very snappy, very satisfying, good access to the lock bar. This knife is a home run. I, I love this knife. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is another USA-made knife. The Yo Jumbo. So this could be the, the Spyderco Yo Jimbo or the Spyderco Yo Jumbo. The Yo Jumbo is just a bigger version, which is a little bit big for most people, but the Yo Jimbo is a perfect size for most people. So that's gonna be my most recommended is gonna be the Yo Jimbo, not the Yo Jumbo. But if you like big XL size knives, the Yo Jumbo might be the way to go. It has a fantastic Warncliffe blade. It does do a little extra hump here, but it, it's basically the same thing you know it's just it's basically a taper all the way down perfectly straight edge very acute tip this is extremely pokey it has a nice deep hollow grind so while it's a big large knife it is very very slicey very grippy handle this is something that's not going to slip out of your hand even under wet conditions very very slick it has the compression lock which is a nice strong locking system that's also very fidgety not the most uh left-handed friendly but you can get a CME from OCD for EDC to make it better for you to use lefty. I'm not sure if he has Yojimbo ones, but he definitely has some for other compression locks like the PM2s and a pair of 3s. But anyways, the Yojimbo is, you know, it's an iconic knife. It's been around for a long time, and it, it, there's no... There's a reason why it's so popular. Not only is it just a fantastic EDC knife for utility cuts, slicing, and doing basically anything you need to do with a knife, but it's also originally designed for self-defense purposes. So it's also something, you know, you can maybe rely on in a self-defense situation. You know, like most knives you could, but but this one might be just a little bit, a little bit better. Next is a knife I had to add to the list. I do not have it in hand because I have it uh, loaned out at the moment, but if it was here, it absolutely would be on the list. And it's a knife that possibly would make my most recommended knife list period. It actually reminds me a lot of the next knife that's coming up, aside from the fact that it is much, much more affordable. Around $47, you're getting this amazing button lock Warncliffe knife that has incredible action, incredible detent. I have zero complaints on this knife. T8 hardware all the way around, fantastic action, fantastic geometry. It's just, it's an amazing knife all the way around. And for the value, this is one of, if not the best, it could be considered the best value knives you can get. Sencut makes some of the best value knives you can possibly buy on the market. It had to make the list. The Sencut Watauga. Next is a knife that's going to be sold out very soon, and that is the Wee Knives Xiphius. One of the best knives made in 2023. It is a perfect example of a harpooned Warncliffe blade. It has Great functional jimping on the spine, so you can really bear down on it. Fantastic finger choil. It is a button lock action with, in my opinion, a perfect detent for a button lock. Very, very snappy, very fun to, to fidget with. It has a great deployment. And this Warncliffe blade is in 20 CV steel. And there, there is many different options for this, or at least four or five different versions of this. I think this exact version might be sold out, but there are some carbon fiber examples, which is a titanium version with the back uh, spacer, because you see how this is an integral back spacer. It has an integral back spacer made out of carbon fiber. So I think that's the version that might be left. But anyways, I, I highly recommend this. If you don't already have this knife, get it. It is amazing. It is like I said, it, it is a great example of what Wee Knives can do. You know, they're, they're definitely pushing towards react quality with this knife. And not only is it gorgeous and a good looking knife, it is a functional tool. And that's what I love about it. 